Hi, this is Amy, and today we're going to talk about how to add Google Cloud printers to your Chrome account so that you can theoretically print from a Chromebook. And we'll try it all out and see how it works. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up our Chrome browser on our computer. So this is my computer that is connected to my printer and I'm going to go to my printers and scanners section to show you what I mean. I've got a, a real printer actually connected with a USB cable or via network on this computer. So my next step is I'm going to go into the hot dogs and the settings and I'm going to go and do this on an account where I don't have anything set up right now so that you can see how it looks from the very beginning. So I'm going to scroll down in my settings and go to show advanced settings and I'm going to look for Google Cloud Print. Now it looks like I have actually used it through this account before so it doesn't say enable or anything like that. You might see something that says enable. I'm going to go into manage and I'm going to click on add printers. Now what I found before is that if it doesn't find any new printers to add you might have to go back here to your Google Cloud Print setting, settings again and you might have to turn off uh, this option right here show notifications when new printers are detected so if you go back to manage then uh, delete anything that you already see there you should see the add printer button appear so here's the add printer button it has found all of the printers that it sees in my system preferences so that doesn't mean that they're actually connected to this computer right now but it's looking at the ones that are connected now the only one of these that's connected that shows online right now is this brother printer 2 so that's the only one that I need I am not going to automatically register I'm just going to register this one. Oh, and I have Adobe installed on my computer and I do want to be able to print to PDF through Chrome so I'll use that one too so now I'm going to go ahead and click add printers and it tells me I'm ready to go so now if I want I can go into manage your printers and I can see those printers that I've added right there so the next step is for us to look at this um, through the Chromebook and see what it looks like over there. All right, let's take a look now at what this looks like on the Chromebook. So I have my file open that I want to print and I'm going to click the print button now. And my default is the save as PDF, but I'm going to change that and I'm going to select my Google Cloud Print location which is this brother printer that you just saw me add on my computer. So whenever I'm finished now, I can go ahead and click print. My other computer has to be on and logged into this account. And if everything goes right, it will be coming out of my printer, which it is right now. So take a look at this list of links. This might help you get through some of the troubleshooting aspects that you'll face. Um, using Google Cloud Print and uh, good luck to you. The, my only last piece of advice is really think about whether you need to print because if you're using Google Classroom, you really don't need to print because you can give all that feedback, have everybody look at each other's work right through the computer. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.